As we all know, this is a very important election year and election day is November 6, 2012. One of our Parent Voice leaders who is running for school board is sending us a message today. Hi fellow Parent Voices leaders, I am Gladys Soto and I'm running for San Francisco School Board. I'm running because I am a Latino mom with two kids in the San Francisco Unified District. The reason that they motivate me to run is because 25% of the population in San Francisco Unified District is Latino. And we haven't had representation for the last four years. And we haven't had a Latino man perspective for the last over 10 years. And our family is Latino. One third of the school district is speaking English as a second language. Our families need to have a voice when it comes to developing and implementing policies and procedures. My goal, if I get elected, when I get elected, is continue the work of past and present commissioners, that is to minimize or close the achievement gap. In order to do that, I will concentrate my work in four issues. The first one is I will dedicate more funding resources for the pre-K to three reading program to make sure that every single kid in San Francisco is able to read by the end of third grade. Now we're talking about the A to G college requirement. We need to give our kids a strong foundation. The other one is extremely important, is the immersion program. As I told you, one third of the kids speak in the second language. We need to make sure that these kids also have access to immersion program, have access to English, so they can be proficient by the end of their grade. Restorative practice is extremely important to continue implementing that policy throughout the district. As we know, most of the kids of color, most of the minority kids, and the kids with learning disabilities are the ones who are suspended, expelled at a higher rate. And if we are not able to keep our kids in the classroom learning through disciplinary issues, we are setting them up for failure. We are pushing them to the criminal justice. Nutrition is another one extremely important. Half of the kids in the San Francisco Unified District are getting uh, free lunches. And as you know, for a lot of them, it might be the only healthy food that they're gonna be receiving in the day. So if this food is frozen, coming from another state, or the Midwest, or wherever they come, and the kids are not eating the food, we are not helping our kids. Because the studies are showing all the time that when the kids have something in their stomach that is healthy, they're able to concentrate and their behavioral problems are extremely reduced. Uh, serious, you know, significant reduce. I want to tell you a little about myself. I, I came here 25 years ago uh, and I went to school college. I went to San Francisco State University. I got my master's degree in counseling and with uh, three specializations. So I stayed there for six years. Marriage and family therapy, rehabilitation and career counseling. I have been working in the community for 18 years, um, you know, helping families, uh, adults, uh, male, female, teenagers, couples and kids uh, finding success in their life. And I was the Associate Executive Director of Mission Council. And I, as you know, I'm a member of Parent Voices. I'm a leader like a lot of you, all of you. And I have been doing this for seven years, advocating in, San, in Sacramento uh, for childcare. Because as you know, childcare is extremely important in everywhere. In, in San Francisco, the school board, uh, the San Francisco Unified School District, Actually, the childcare is 50% of the 50% uh, of the childcare that is provided in San Francisco is through the San Francisco Unified School District. So I want to make sure that we continue supporting that because it's extremely important that our families have childcare. And I would say that um, also I am a member, board member of the Mission YMCA. I'm a member of board member of the Democratic Women in Action, and I'm. I have done more than that, but I am elected uh, assembly of the delegate, uh, elected delegate to the assembly 17. I've done a lot of that, but I'm going to say you briefly because I know we don't have a lot of time that I've uh, been advocating with all of you for seven years in Sacramento and, for child and for child care. Of course, you know, we all know that we have been fighting for uh, child care uh, to make sure that every family in California who needs child care is able to have a quality and accessible and affordable child care. I'm part of the school side council at my kids' school, and I am part of the mission, a board member of the mission YMCA. I also a board member of the Women Political Committee, and I'm telling I me mean, the Women in Action. And I will say that I have been getting a lot of support, more than I ever expected, because people are believing and being understanding that it's important to have representation. And I just want to say that to all of you fellow uh, Parent Voices leaders, uh, that I want to invite you to, to join me 
in my campaign one weekend, whenever we can do it, so you can help me to drop, mater drop off material uh, or you want to you know, call a banner or anything like that because it's a lot of areas with a lot of traffic. So we want to make sure, we want to show people that we can do this because remember, my win is our win. So thank you very much, okay? I, I wish I was here, but as you may imagine, I'm extremely busy uh, making sure that everybody in San Francisco knows that I'm running. Um, thank you very much, okay? In another circumstance, I will have joined you, but today I couldn't make it, but I hope that every day the training goes beautiful and everybody has a beautiful experience. Thank you very much.